Hi, this is Zach Henderson with LSA. In this short video, I'm going to be talking about how to use your Garmin unit uh, with shape files, uh, KML, KMZ files, and even uh, GPX files. And kind of the quickest and easiest way to upload these files to your Garmin unit. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to, or you want to make sure that your Garmin unit can actually con connect to your computer uh, via USB. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in Garmin USB drivers. You can see there's a Garmin USB drivers and updates and download. That'll take you to this download page. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to install the USB drivers uh, for your Garmin unit. So go ahead at this point and connect your Garmin unit to your computer via a USB cable. It won't recognize it at first. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download the USB drivers. I already went ahead and did this, Garmin USB drivers 2.3. You basically uh, double click on this. It asks you if you want to run it. You say yes. And what it does is it steps you through the process and allows your computer to see the Garmin unit. Um, it's best once you connect your Garmin unit to the computer that you actually turn on the Garmin unit. Uh, but it'll, if you don't, it'll prompt you. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your Garmin unit has a f the firmware updated or is the most current. So the second thing you're going to do is type in Google Garmin firmware updates. You can go to this top page here, and this will step you through this web updater for device software. Um, and then you go down to download and install web updater. This will give you this program. Uh, I went ahead and uh, downloaded uh, this program, but we'll go ahead and do this right now. Uh, I agree to the, uh, to the terms. You hit download. Um, you can hit save if you want to. There's the, uh, the Garmin updater. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it. And what it'll do is it'll go through and update the firmware on my Garmin unit. Now again, we've already installed the USB drivers. We have the Garmin unit turned on and the Garmin unit is currently connected to your computer through a USB port. So we hit next, we accept the licensing agreements, we launch the web updater, it'll go through and now it will populate uh, in here what my device is. Um, or I can hit find device, but because I have it on, because I have it connected to my computer through the USB cord, um, I don't have to do this. I can just go ahead and hit next. Um, it'll say that it found something. I can hit next. Uh, next again. Next. Uh, I agree to the terms above. Next. And it'll go ahead and download it. And basically, it will um, update uh, the unit. Uh, to the most recent uh, firmware. It's important to have the firmware updated, um, not just for this purpose, uh, not for this purpose alone, but also to make sure it gets the correct satellite geometry um, and so forth. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download the DNR Garmin uh, software program. It's a free program. Um, go ahead and go into Google type in DNR Garmin and go ahead and hit search. And you'll see the top one up at the top. Uh, Gar uh, DNR Garmin application Minnesota uh, DNR. So we're going to go ahead and go to the web page. Um, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources has created this program and it works extremely well. Now if you do have ArcView or ArcGIS and you want to go to the more advanced version of this uh, that includes toolbar, um, go ahead and click on the top link. Otherwise, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see that the DNR Garmin, uh, the most recent version was uh, 5.4.1. Now, I went ahead and downloaded this and installed it on my, uh, on my computer and this is the icon that gets installed on your desktop. Now, keep in mind, we have now uh, basically plugged our Garmin GPS unit into our computer using a USB cable. We have installed the USB drivers from the Garmin website. We have updated the firmware uh, through the Garmin website. 
And so now our Garmin unit it can talk to our machine and has the most current version of the firmware installed in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch this program that's going to communicate um, with the Garmin unit directly. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. Now when you're plugged in, it will automatically recognize the unit and you'll see that because this tagline up at the top here will tell you what unit is actually connected to your computer. If you don't see that, um, an easy way to do that is to click on the GPS menu option and make sure that the set port is to set is to USB. Oftentimes it defaults to port 1, but we don't need to use that anymore. We can default to USB uh, because we've already installed the USB drivers. Um, if it still doesn't work, go ahead and reboot and try this again, and you should get this tagline in there. So assuming that we can now talk to the individual unit, we're going to go ahead and load in a shape file. So we're going to go to File, Load from File, and here we're going to go ahead and navigate to a um, to a uh, um, an ArcView shape file that we can load into the unit. Now, right here, where it says Files of Type, you'll double you'll down click on this, and notice you'll be able to load in a KML file, DBase file, um, a, a, a GPS exchange format, and also the ArcView shape file. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and, and load in that, and we're going to load in these uh, lines that are specified in UTM-11. I hit open, and basically what this process does, it will load in um, these lines as tracks to the software program. Now, we haven't done anything yet. Everything right now is still in memory on the computer. In order to commit that change to the GPS unit itself, we actually have to upload um, this track information to the GPS unit. So it says the, the file was successfully loaded, and we can see down here there's 4,403 lines that are basically loaded in memory. Now what we do is we go to track, and we go to upload. When we hit upload, it's actually now uploading all the information to the Garmin unit through the USB cable. Now from here, you're working straight, after this is done, you're working straight with the Garmin unit and uh, it'll upload into the track uh, file. And that's it. Uh, from there on out, you're working with the uh, Garmin functionality. Um, I will say this, some line information, some shapefile line information doesn't come across very cleanly. You get some zigzags where you probably shouldn't. So it's really important to make sure that your shapefile that you upload is uh, simple. It's, it's pretty clean and there's not a whole lot of vertices. In this case, uh, 4,403 points is a lot. You probably want to keep it less than 500 uh, under normal circumstances. And that's it. Uh, this is a great uh, free program, um, and it works extremely well with shapefiles and uploading them to your Garmin unit. Uh, enjoy.